Jesus. Can you hear me? Oh no. Oh no. Hello. Hey, Sandeep. Can you hear me? Hi, Peter. Hi, Zulu. Hey, Sandeep. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, I think it's really struggling with audio because I was talking to, to him this whole time and I thought I had audio issues, but I don't. So, oh. this is him. Mm -hmm. Hey, Zuru, can you hear us now? Hello, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, nice. Okay, today I have to leave 10 minutes earlier. Mm -hmm. So I want to very quickly show you the things that I have. Just give me one second. So the the big thing is two things, the GRPC legacy versions. There is a pull request about it, but it's broken at the moment because I just uh, upgraded all the fabric versions to the new one, but then that broke the compiler, of course, in some places. So what I was going to ask everyone is to mm -hmm. to give some sort of guess on how fast or if at all can you update the packages that you have that use the old fabric because because of the GRPC dependencies being end of life and also the fabric one being end of life. I'm not actually sure if fabric one is end of life, but I think it is. Mm -hmm. So with all those being end of life and not receiving security updates, we just cannot have them in the code base anymore as dependencies and we cannot release the 2.0 as long as we have these dependencies, so it's uh it's pretty important. And so okay. I, I'll check for the Weaver components. Yeah, Thank I'll, you. I'll also check uh the uh our uh contribute code. I'll check them. Okay. If you want to see which packages are affected then you can just take a look at the link that i put in the agenda document and also in the chat in zoom mm -hmm. because i found all of the outdated versions in this pull request so you can see it here you can see 
if you if you were on two point anything, then you have nothing to worry about. But if uh, if you were on one point four something, yeah, like the example discounted asset trade, then that needs some attention. Yeah. Okay. So I, I try to make it as easy as possible. So here's the list of files in this pull request, and then you have time. Please take a look. And so I, I'm seeing that you have removed Fabric CA client. Is it now embedded in the Fabric network? That was my impression because there's no new Fabric version. CA client now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to double check that right now. Oh, wow. No, I was wrong. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. This API is deprecated. <laughs> you should use the, yeah. But with that said, uh, we could still use Fabric CA client if we want to. It's just that it is deprecated, but that mm -hmm. means I we mean, can Fabric still kick the can down like, the road. Sorry. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I was saying even all these three, I, I think deprecated Fabric Network, Fabric Common. If we go there, they also, I mean, they are saying uh, this for a long time since they released Fabric 2.5. I see. Now they have something fabric gateway. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just a deprecation. So in my opinion, mm -hmm. we are not in such a rush to migrate to this gateway API, but we are in a rush to migrate away from fabric one because it's not getting security updates anymore. Okay. The GRPC at least. Okay, so yeah, then we can keep 2.2.18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I had very quick was asking for reviews on a specific pull request, mm -hmm. uh, such as this one that I'm showing on the screen and I'm putting on the chat as well. But then also I wanted to give a little nudge to everybody uh, because everyone has quite a long queue of pull requests to review. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just trying to look through my notes, sorry. Because I have, uh... oh, there you go. So I, to make it easier, I created a list of links for everyone. Uh, so that you can just click on the links if you want to see the pull requests where your review was requested. And I'm just formatting it in the chat window. There you go. Mm -hmm. So if you click on Sandeep's link, okay. then you see there's a bunch mm -hmm. and a lot of these came in a while ago. And if you feel like you just don't know enough about a certain part of the code to actually review a pull request, mm -hmm. that's totally fine. If you want to uh, pass your vote to me or something, because you just feel more comfortable with me taking a deeper look at the review, that's totally fine too. It's just okay. the, the, the one thing that I want to avoid is that we have something open for months and no one is actually looking at it. 
Okay, I'll look into it. Thank you. And I'm not singling you out. There's a link for everyone in the chat. Mm -hmm. So this is true for Izuru, Takuma, yep, Rama, everybody. And uh, if, if you want to just uh, defer to me or somebody else, that's also totally fine by me, honestly. Mm -hmm. We just have to keep it going. Okay, maybe share these links on the Discord so that others also know. Oh yeah, absolutely. That is a good idea. Give me one second. Yeah, so the links are there. Uh, okay, so that's enough of that. Back to the agenda again, just to remember. Oh yeah, and then FYI, everybody will we'll try to apply for the graduated status. We talked about this. The TNC <laughs> was very receptive, so we are, I think we're doing great. And I will work on the the paperwork to make it happen i don't yet know exactly what that entails but i'm assuming there's some sort of form or document or proposal that we need to write so i'll work on a draft for that and then uh, i'll just let you know how it goes and so that's all i had uh anyone else has any questions topics anything to bring up okay Mm, I think from me. Okay, Zuru. Um, well, I actually uh, I have uh, one topic. It's not very uh, urgent one, but uh, we we submitted or uh, we we have a pull request about a graphic user interface that let you see. Um, uh, ledger, ledger activity like uh, tokens and so so on, and uh, we talked to uh, talked to uh, with um, Hyperledger Foundations people last week, and uh, they and uh, including Fujimoto, uh, they they mentioned about uh, the Explore project, uh, which is not uh, actively updating uh, actually they are uh, updating but they are very slow so uh, they uh, Fujimoto especially mentioned about uh, taking uh, their code somehow um, he didn't mention how uh, we sh uh, whether we should uh, incorporate their code or contribute uh, code our code to their project uh, we uh, there's no uh, specific way to do that but uh do you have any opinion or a suggestion about that i'm totally fine with it i have a little bit of bandwidth to help with it well it seems that uh, their project explore project don't have uh, enough resource so <laughs> that's that's the problem but uh yeah uh, i understand your point yeah well, uh yeah anyway uh, i think uh either way uh we have to talk about uh talk with uh their uh the explore project team but uh i just wanted to uh tell you about uh hyperledger projects uh management people's uh their view so maybe maybe I can uh, come up with a better uh, strategy or something soon, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you. Just uh, telling about that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for having those conversations. We should try to do something to help. Cool. If nothing else 
out and thanks everyone for joining and i'll talk to you mm -hmm. next time just one thing uh peter uh, can mm -hmm. you quickly review the what the province uh, pr so he's an in hyperledger intern if you might know uh he had some dco issue the last issue he has resolved it so just check it and we can quickly merge it yeah but sorry which pr is it uh 2564 2564 2564 yeah oh this one yeah yeah oh two minutes ago. okay yeah i didn't see it in my queue <laughs> <laughs> Right, DCO fix. Okay. And then, uh, is it just a one commit? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We have to. I'm trying desperately to get our pending pull request mm -hmm, count mm -hmm. down because there's just too many of them open. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks everyone. Okay. Talk to you next Thanks. time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.